Hello everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 11 where I'm going to try out Air Hauler 2 and start a career as a cargo and passenger hauler. Well, I don't think we haul passengers. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to start an air freight and passenger business and see how it goes. I've decided to go with a medium difficulty. Let me show you the Air Hauler 2 dialogue. It's a separate sort of program. And right now it looks like this. Well, there's the cargo jobs and passenger routes section. There's an overview map. There's available jobs here. These are cargo jobs. And then we have accepted jobs because you can have AI pilots as well doing jobs. We can set up uh, passenger routes, but I've set up my Cessna 172 as a cargo plane for now because they seem more lucrative, the cargo flights. Uh, I don't know if we can do a mix of cargo and passengers. After all, most planes do carry a mix rather than just be a pure passenger or cargo flight, but we'll see. Now there's ad hog flight. There's available special missions. Um, supply bakery goods, supply aircraft engines. That's interesting. Um, this one is peculiar because I don't know what it means when the from and to are the same. Well, I guess we just have to find some bakery goods to bring, which well, that's an interesting possible mission. There's humanitarian missions, at least, but there's none where I'm starting out here in the middle, well, in the middle of Northern Central Valley at Yuba City. And uh, my company information is such that I have this base. Uh, KMYV is my home port. And I have a fleet. I purchased a Cessna 172. Medium difficulty means that I have a fair amount of cash left. Um, in total, I had about a million, and so 200,000 or so was for the Cessna, and that leaves me some spare if I choose to go to a different plane. And uh, we've got the other pilots, except, uh, well, I mean, yeah, except for me, it looks like. It doesn't include me. Um, info, finances, and stuff like that. So pretty, mm, well, monthly overhead. Wow, got to keep an eye on that. Um... Base costs. Oh, the cost of maintaining my base is 38000 That's ridiculous. Um, we better uh, fly a whole lot more then. Okay, so, and then there's my personal. We, you, you can have a personal finance thing and a personal fleet as well, aside from your business fleet. Uh, I have logged one flight, and that was the type rating with the Cessna 172. That was pretty easy. It was just don't kill yourself kind of thing. Uh, and this is the only airport I visited because the type rating was just uh, loop around. So, all sorts of information, factories even, I don't even want to get to that. Marketplace, so if we wanted to manage, uh, no actually the management is where we manage the aircraft. So here I've added some other aircraft except for the stock ones, it comes with just the stock ones. You have to add the other ones manually one at a time. Uh, for the most part, the pricing makes sense. So that's good. And yeah, uh, I'm so far pleased by how this all works out. It is airport management as well. Um, I guess if we wanted to add airports that doesn't have in its database already, but I don't anticipate needing to do that. So anyway, let's go to available jobs here at uh, this current airport, KMYV. Uh, I've identified this need for herbal remedies. I wanted that one because it's short and starting at this airport that I'm starting at. Uh, that's the shortest flight. Um, well, this live poultry one is pretty close, but anyway. It only pays about 4000 and then we've got all these landing fees and such. So I don't even know if I'm going to come out <laughs> positive on it. But uh, let's see what happens in the game when I click fly now. So let me just quickly switch to the game before I click fly now. Okay, accept job and fly it now. Yes. Okay, mm it's giving me a choose fleet aircraft in the air hauler dialog. Okay. Oh, let me show you these dialogues, I suppose. Oh, actually, it's a separate window. Okay, well then you're not going to be able to see it very well. It gives me a cargo loading dialogue and how much fuel I want to put in. Okay, I'm going to put in enough for 200 nautical miles. 
After all, the airport we're going to is only 90 nautical miles away. And I purchased fuel, uh, only 38 pounds costs uh, $39. And flight plan, it wants me to do a flight plan thing. Okay, accept route and fly. Explain 11 is already running, will connect, but you're responsible for loading f fuel and cargo. Oh, okay, so I have to make sure here that We've got how much uh, fuel? 140 pounds. So let's make sure of that. Oh, I'll just type it in. So it doesn't do that part automatically. Uh, that doesn't look like 140 to me, but whatever. Okay. And cargo 610 pounds. So we're pretty heavy. Uh, hopefully the center of gravity is okay. I've got REP, Reality Expansion Pack, for this Cessna. We'll see how that goes as well. Alright, okay. Apply changes. So we've got the right fuel. We've got the right cargo. It is receiving... Ah, um, is the, yes, you can see the window with the AH2 information. That's good. Okay, so we can taxi. I am not as familiar with this airport as I should be, given it's my home base. I really need to add ATC stuff to this. But for now, we'll focus on the mission at hand. I don't know if I should get rid of the data in the upper left. You guys can tell me whether you want that there or not. In this, I don't know if it's going to be a series, but... I will probably stay in the cockpit. Okay, here we go. Okay. We are airborne. Okay, fly this sector and land at your destination. Okay, well, at least it knows that uh, we're on our way. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see if I get the money. I'm at $795,000. Which means I would have to fly 200 flights like this one in order to make that money if and that's not including the costs so yeah I might need a bigger plane so you can't see it right now but uh, air hauler 2 gives me a map and is tracking where I am on the map it's an open street map map And it shows a connection status to explain. Uh, so it says it's receiving data. It's a green light. Actually, let me show you what the flight tractor, tracker looks like. It's a separate window from the main window. So that's what it is. The problem with going to this particular destination is that there isn't uh, going to be a whole lot for me to do going from there to another destination like I can't pick up I don't know if there's gonna be jobs is all I'm saying not too sure there's gonna be jobs it's best to go from a big airport to a big airport not that we're starting off at a big airport but you know big enough okay we're at a good enough altitude to clear everything I think judging from the maps so we're approaching the southern end of Clear Lake. That'll basically be halfway through the flight. Okay, to our right is Clear Lake. Can we 
see our destination here. CA-51, the Sea Ranch. It's not a very long runway. It doesn't say here, but I know it's a pretty small thing. Oh, we've got some turbulence here. Mild turbulence. So... Just checking the map here, but yeah, we're over Highway 101. Um, there it is. Highway 101 in all of its glory. And that town is Cloverdale. Cloverdale. Okay, we probably shouldn't be going like this. That is Lake Sonoma there. Oh, oh. Well, we can see the Pacific. We're not too far away. Nine nautical miles. Uh, I don't expect this to be a very distinct airstrip. I don't know if one blob ahead is the airstrip or not. I, I mean, that one to the left is somewhat suggestive of airstrippiness. Seems like that's probably it, but we'll fly over and check. Sure hope the airfield's flat. It's not a very long runway to begin with. Still a bit bouncy around here. Is this the runway? Oh, there's 12 there, okay. It looks a bit weird though. There's a road <laughs> overlaying it, but there isn't the normal runway texture. Oh, okay, th there's this runway here. Okay, the runway is not lined up with the with the photo scenery is the problem. I'll go with the game's runway rather than the photo scenery runway. We're really high. Didn't know how high the hills around here were gonna be. Oh, I think I've set the flap lever in between two settings or something. Minimums. Okay. Oh god, Ooh, winds. <laughs> Whoa. Landing was quite positive, ill buff out. Well, that's kind of them. <laughs> There's a bumpy runway though, and that was a heck of a thing. This is definitely not a f nice flat runway. Reality Expansion Pack will have something to say about the ill buff out, but only when we stop. 
I think we can just park off to the side here. Um, well, let's turn it off. Nope, by the way. Alt tab back to. Uh, okay, well, I don't have to alt tab. Um, cargo, fuel loading or unloading. Let me see if I can capture this window for you. Okay, so that's the dialogue there. And so, on board, unload. Job completed. We get applause. I hope we get screaming from the passengers when I pull too many G Gs. I, I like that feature of S FS passengers back in Flight Sim 10. Okay. Um, yeah, alright. So that's done. And we got paid somewhat. There we go. Uh, we started off with uh, 795 and now we have 799,000 so that's good and I'm gonna click finish flight monitoring and I'll show you the results screen unfortunately these are all separate windows so this is the results screen and take off fuel um, I get, uh, oh, fuel at takeoff fuel at destination I think Max altitude, max pitch, max roll, speed, 119.9 is my maximum speed, minimum G's 0.74, max G's 1.8, overspeed, false, landing description positive, I don't know where that is on the scale, landing gear down true, uh, landing damage 1, hmm, okay, and yeah, it was a pretty hard landing, negative 346 feet per sec, feet per minute, <laughs> feet per second would be quite a thing, landing speed 49.9, pitch, landing roll, landing heading, so that's all there, okay, finish flight monitoring, so yeah, so that's done, and then they'll have more information uh, virtual uh, I want to see personal info and then I can refresh this and I'll show that I've also been to CA 51 which is right here and flight log has that in here as well very good it actually has the data over here though it's a little bit smushed um, so we have there's the max G's pulled and the pitch and everything all right so that's Air Hauler 2. Now, what did REP have to say about my flight performance is the question I've parked. Well, I wouldn't say anything about my performance per se, but I just want to see if there's any maintenance issues. Good to go. Recharge. I mean, the current charge on the battery is fine. Avionics is fine. Struts are okay. Tires are okay. Braking system. See, it wasn't too bad. It was not too bad at all. So, yeah, otherwise we would see damage. I actually saw damage before here and I had to fix it. Um, yeah, I had to fix some of these before. So this was apparently not bad enough for that. Okay, well that is my first taste of Air Hauler 2. I completed a job, but it sure seems I'm going to have to complete many more jobs in order to make kind of money to get an airliner, like a 727 or 757. Those are my, my goals, but... I can't make millions making uh, doing $3,000 a time. Hmm. Well, we'll see.